We talk about hyperbaric being this incredible tool for improving the healing and regenerative processes inside of our body, but should we ever consider to actually use hyperbaric before surgery? Would that make any sense at all? That's what we're gonna cover in this next video. Over the course of this channel, we've discussed a lot of different videos on hyperbaric oxygen mechanisms of action. It plays an enormous role in the healing and regenerative process inside of our body, and it really helps reduce inflammation, stimulate stem cells, repair cellular and tissue damage. And so using it post-surgically or post-traumatically makes a lot of sense to many people. However, pre-treating with hyperbaric is actually a very useful tool. And let's talk about how and why that would work. We have to understand this. Regardless of who goes in a hyperbaric chamber, the mechanisms of action are the mechanisms of action. In other words, there's an angiogenic effect, meaning it literally helps grow new capillary beds. There's a mitogenic effect, meaning it literally increases mitochondrial efficiency and density or helps to make a lot more cellular energy. There's a neurogenic effect where it helps to regenerate nerve tissues and nerve cells. There's stem cell mobilization. There's reduced inflammation. There's all of these systems that are going to be upregulated as a result of being exposed to a handful of hyperbaric sessions. It doesn't matter who's going in. It doesn't necessarily matter what you're going in for. Those are the cellular changes that everybody goes through as a result of these repetitive hyperbaric sessions. Are you as healthy as you could be leading up to your surgery? In many cases, I would say even when we think we're actually pretty healthy, what we're really gauging that on is maybe we're asymptomatic. But in general, virtually all of us could be healthier than we are. And so going through a strategy where you're trying to prehab your body, prepare your body for a certain event that you know is coming, there are plenty of traumas and surgeries that we go through that were completely unexpected, in which case we can't plan that ahead of time. But if we know that there's going to be this surgical event, which is really just another way of saying we know that there's going to be this structured trauma that we're putting our body through, what are things we can do to prepare our body better to handle that? And certainly pre-treating with hyperbaric is effective. One example of this would be the Marx protocol, which was used for a specific condition from a very specific type of damage. However, the concepts would be very similar here. And in the Marx protocol, what they were doing was 30 sessions before having oral surgery, and then 10 sessions after the oral surgery. And what they found was a massive increase. I believe it was somewhere between an 84 to an 87% increase in the success rate of the surgery when people had 30 sessions before and 10 sessions after. As years went on, eventually they stopped doing the 30 session pre-treatment. And as a result, the effectiveness of this concept really plummeted quite a bit. And so it became obvious that those 30 pre-treatment sessions were critical to the success rate of that surgery. Why is that possible? Well, imagine you are not necessarily as healthy as you could be. Maybe you have some lingering increased level of inflammation. Maybe you have some either uh, inflammatory or traumatic condition that broke some small capillary so you weren't getting good oxygen delivery. And so you went through a process where you started healing literally before the first incision was even made. And in that process of pre-treating, you started developing new blood vessels. You started reducing inflammation. You started mobilizing stem cells. You started increasing cellular energy. You started reducing uh, cellular toxicity. You literally started the healing process for either a week or two weeks or four weeks leading up to the surgery. Certainly, once you have those incisions being made, your body is already in a cascade of healing the result of that is certainly going to improve the post-surgical healing side. And so in cases where you are planning a surgery, you have the time available, using hyperbaric before that surgical event could certainly be very effective in reducing the healing time after the fact. We're working really hard over here at HBOT USA to make sure that all the people looking for this kind of information are able to find it. When you like it, when you subscribe to it, when you share these videos, that tells YouTube that this content is valuable. When YouTube knows this content is valuable, they tend to help other people searching similar concepts. 
find the answers that they're looking for. So please do me a favor, like it, subscribe it, and share it so that YouTube knows how valuable the information is that we're giving you. What protocol could somebody use in a scenario like this? Well, sometimes we realize this very close to a surgery and we don't have a lot of time. And in those cases, we've even seen as little as three to six hours leading up to a surgery is enough to see uh, an improved healing response before the surgical event occurs. In times where we actually could plan well in advance, I would argue somewhere between 10 to 20 hours leading up to the surgery is very meaningful and could have a massive effect on the outcome on the other side of that surgery. So again, anywhere on the low end, three to six hours, anywhere on the high end, 10 to 20 hours, all of which would be appropriate within about three weeks leading up to that surgery could really help a patient improve the healing process after the fact. I hope that was helpful for you, and I hope that answers the question of why should we potentially pre-treat with hyperbaric before going into a surgical event. Thanks so much. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.